Cam's rolling though. We live. Good. Bonnie, how are you? I am fantastic. I wish the cameras could zoom in on the shoes. Those are crazy. What are those? Uh, Donnie Dybuck. Sick. That's just hard. Yeah, he's he's amazing. Um, he's got the you know he does the uh, the dice. You've seen these, right? I've seen them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't yeah, know that he's, was him, uh, he's very, very talented. Yeah. These are like one ones He put some metallic stuff on. It's cool. They kind of look like the yellow off ones, right? Yeah, yeah. MCA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I was at the event last night. Great turnout. Yeah. You guys were all there? Yeah. I, 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 was, yeah. I, I missed it. Yeah, I missed it. Shh, that was Big crazy. vibes. It's like way they had, it it they had, yeah, they had the greatest. Uh, is that the greatest trapper alive? Is that who we had uh, there yesterday? That's what I think. He's right? a goat. Go. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Go. And he crushed yeah. it. Yeah. Crushed it. Can I see the cover? And please? then he shout, she shouted me out. I was like, what? I, okay. That was that's crazy. crazy. That's fire. Yeah. That's you want to see the cover? Which one? Yeah, let me see the cover. I didn't even see this one. <laughs> <laughs> MJ. Oh. So speaking cover. with 2K, let's talk in, about. In hand. Let's, let's talk about 2K. In hand, how did you get started with 2K for the people, the viewers that don't know your story? Um. Wow. It's been almost 15 years now. Wow. I um. I was going to law school, and then I made this massive pivot to go work for sports, because in sports, I always wanted to, like, you know, work uh, for a professional sports team. So I did that for a little bit. Uh, it wasn't the perfect fit, but there was definitely some, like, cool breaks along the way. Like, there's a few viral stories. You can go look it up. Um, and But then, like, the, the big thing was every day after work, I'd go home and I'd play 2K, and I'd be like, oh, I'd love to work there. And then I found out that the office was 10 minutes from where I grew up. Wow. And so, I mean, I started at the, at the bottom. But I, I'll tell you, like, the role that I had was um, community manager, like running the forums before social media stuff, right? And I think it really allowed me to lean into the consumer um, and understand the consumer better than anyone at the company. I mean, I already did because I was already on the forums and a fan of the game, but, like, um, that really allowed me to understand like that we needed to make a massive shift in the way that we built our game, the way we market our game, um, all the cultural stuff. We don't get to that J. Cole cover, we don't get to Wayne performing right. at a concert without a total transition in, the, in, in our business. So it took a few years, uh, it took 15 years, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing where we sit now when it comes to like the intersection of cultures, fashions, sure. sports, shoes, you know, it's, uh, it's super dope. You guys integrated a lot of stuff, right? So now you got like different sneakers in the shoe, in the game. Yep. Um, a lot of interactive things, clothing, yep. um, a lot of those things. So what goes into like all that stuff when you guys are trying to really like build something for years to come, right? Um, and kind of- By the way, I didn't get the game back. That's weird. Oh, my fault, my fault. You, need that. you know, he's trying to be sneaky. He's trying to be that back. I'm about to download it right now. This ain't my first. trying to get one for each uh, family member. I'm about to get my face scan ready. This ain't my first rodeo. Yeah. <laughs> my face scan's about to be ready. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Right? <laughs> no. Sorry, what were you saying? But yeah, no, what I was saying was like, um, throughout the years, what, what have you, what do you feel like 2K has really changed in terms of like video games, I guess? Well, I think we were the first to like, and really, the, I mean, people kind of forget this because, uh, you know, people talk about Fortnite and like some of the stuff that they do with concerts. We did in-game concerts first. Mm -hmm. It just didn't work perfect back then. And like, also it was, it was expected, right? Like, I think people really like things that are unexpected. Uh, you know, like I remember the first time Drake jumped on a ninja stream and like that, how, how like, but Drake would stream our game all the time. Like he, he's always been involved with 2K. So, um, but I, like going back to your question, like I, I think, that we had to make it more about the lifestyle and your life as a basketball player as opposed to like being on the Lakers or being on the Rockets. Like, and I think the NBA changed that way too, right? Like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you didn't know the stories behind these guys. They weren't brands at all, right? Like um, it was the, Lake, the Lakers were a brand or the Celtics were a brand, right? Like now you got LeBron and Steph and like you really care about what they're doing in their life outside that. And um, our game became that too, because we introduced my career versus, you know, uh, quick game. Yeah. And so that, that, that was a shift. And then I think I'm also a really good example of that too, because like, I don't think that would have worked back then. Like, I did, nobody cared about identities, but like as brands have grown, people have started care, caring about the people behind the brands. 
and that's sort of, I guess, how I came to be as well. That makes sense. You remember the first 2K game you ever played? No, I played the original. You Dreamcast. played the original. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For oh, sure. What was the original Dreamcast? Yeah, yeah. Sega I still Dreamcast have my Dreamcast. Right? I still have my Dreamcast. Really? I had this modded Dream. I probably shouldn't talk about this, but <laughs> <laughs> I had this modded Dreamcast that uh, I had like all the SNES games and like I played everything on that thing. But my favorite game on the Dreamcast outside of 2K was uh, Soul Calibur. I don't know if you guys remember. I remember that. that. Yeah. Soul Calibur was OD. Yeah. I don't think I remember that. one. And uh, I played Crazy Taxi a lot too, which is just is. random. Crazy Taxi, right? Royal Rumble, remember Royal Rumble? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. My giant dot. That's yeah. fine. I think the first one I played was like 2K3. Oh, this is 20 years for me now. 2K3. Yeah, yeah. Allen Iverson. Lying. Was Allen Iverson on the cover of that? I yeah, no, dude. My the first one I worked for 2K uh -huh. was 2K8. So that was Chris wow. Paul. I'm 23 now. Damn. Because I remember a lot. You remember live, right? I was with Chris Paul last night. That's uh, at really? least he's he was on, on the cover of that, right? Yeah, he was on the cover. Yeah. No, it's TK, yeah. Oh, it's TK? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that too. I yeah. joined in March 2008. That's lit. 15 yeah. years now. Yeah. So what, what, what's the future? What, so let's talk about what your current title is with 2K, right? What's your current title? I have no idea. No idea? <laughs> he's the face. <laughs> he does 2K. everything. He's the face. He's, he's Mr. Do it all. If somebody don't like 2K, they at Ronnie. I, I, think, I think what it is is to, like, continue to be the uber fan of 2k that just represents our brand and it also represents hundreds of like very passionate people that build this game and think about everything that goes into this lifestyle and um you know all the fashion drops all the like we do so many drops in a in a year it's like crazy right so like all the work that goes into it i'm just i'm just very uh excited to represent these uh, an amazing group of people I know you're the face of 2K. How do you deal with like a lot of the backlash or the hate? Um, I mean, I think that's pretty easy. It's like I can control what I can control, and you know, people can say things about the servers or the game, and I I don't have anything to do with either of those um, in in like the day to day. So I focus on what I focus on, and I've never been criticized for not shifting the culture or not you know like doing the things that I'm responsible for doing. So I guess that's why it doesn't bother me. It's like just noise, you know? And speaking of criticism, recently Kevin Durant just tweeted his, the 99 rating. <laughs> yeah, what's yeah. up with that? <laughs> who controls the ratings? You like, know what's funny? Yeah, who controls the ratings? Rating uh, I don't control the ratings either, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely the messenger behind that. There Me and go. Katie are very close. He, That's uh, the homie. He's one of... Uh, the four people that I'm getting married in a, a month from. Congratulations. Congrats. Congrats. Yes, that's a big deal. Congrats. 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 Uh, Congrats. Congratulations. Hey, let's go. Uh, that's fire. Congrats. I like that. Yeah, that's W. W Ronnie. W's in the chat. W Ronnie. W's in the chat. I like that. And uh, Katie's one of the four. I'm, I mean, I'm friends with a lot of NBA players, but like legitimately, like we're really good friends. So that caught me a little off guard. I was a little surprised. Um, uh, because we were also texting like two days before that about some wedding stuff. And uh, so, I don't know. Kevin, um, once in a while, I just, you know. Is there any ratings that you're disappointed with? No, I think all the ratings are really good. You know what the thing about the ratings is? Like, it's just different. Like, I think people, there's some people that are used to how other video games do it, which is there's like 1799s or whatever, right? With us, we're trying to put all the historical guys in there. That's very important. So how do you measure ratings historically? Like, KD, 96 this year after the year he had last year is probably about right. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, obviously all-time great. My favorite player in the NBA, no doubt. But, uh, you know, like, 96 is probably about right at this at this point in his career mm -hmm. but same same with lebron right? right but i think if you look at that list like in order you're like oh i get it Giannis is probably the best, best player, player in the right nba now. He is. now he is yes or and not by a lot but by a little bit yeah, right so Giannis, steph katie lebron all within a point of each other it's about, that, that makes I think that's sense fair. that's fine that makes sense and then all the guys behind him like if you look in the at the list in order it totally makes sense it's just it your does. feelings on whether you're does. you know we should be out of 99 currently or we should be out of 99 historically that's up to you so i have a question i, yeah. I mean obviously i know that you don't make the ratings but i've seen a big discrepancy in the three-point ratings three this point. year the three so point i see steph curry steph curry's a steph curry's 99, 99 three. and yeah. then the next one's and like an 80 88 yeah i mean i'll tell you <laughs> that's, that, that, that's, that's yeah. nuts but go ahead well i will say like he he keeps beating 
other NBA players by 100 threes a season. So, like, what do you do about that? Like, when he shot, when he made a 402 threes in 2016, right? Mm -hmm. We didn't have that big of a discrepancy, but we should have, probably. You, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. the guy, like, has broken our video game. <laughs> yeah, year I over year. That. Like, I can see that. Yeah. He, he has. And he's broken high school and college sports, too. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. Like, you think he's attributed guy, to he's, a lot he's of this? He's amazing, huh? You think he's attributed to a lot of, like, how... How the I mean, the, the NBA out. game now, yeah. the NBA game now, now is better. Mm -hmm. But all the lower levels are terrible. Yeah. You go to a high school game and a college game, and you see, like, half court. really untalented people shooting from 40 feet, and you're just like, what, what is this? Yeah. But if, it makes, if they make it, it's beautiful. You guys see that stat last week where uh, the effective points per possession are now higher for a shot from 35 feet plus than from two feet? Mm -mm. You're getting scoring more points per shot from 35. from 35 feet as wow. opposed to two feet. That's pretty crazy. Actually. The game's changed a lot though over time. It has. Yeah. It has. Yeah. That's what you're saying because of Steph. Yeah, yeah because I agree. of Steph. So like, how do you? So then, when you have that difference in rating, how do you deal with it? Clay was really upset about his. What do you have? 85, 88. 88. 88. But, but yeah. again, his, he, we're going against like he's going against his own teammate, and that's I think right KD now. That's even probably 88. about right. What's that? I think KD was even at 88. Yeah, like the second – I'm just saying, like, if he's a 99 – The second highest is KD. second highest is probably that kind of delta, 10%, probably. Okay. That's and, crazy. How often do you guys, like, update that also? like uh, All the time. It's the time. pretty much – I mean, like, we don't do it over, like, one game. If you score 60 points in a game, it's not like your rating goes up to a 99. Mm -hmm. It's over a, a sample size. It takes time. and But, like, every, you know, few days we're definitely – bump in some rating or another. I think we put out weekly um, updates, like, like meaning like publicly we say, here's all the biggest movers and ups, up and down of the Throughout past the week. week. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. but I think we do that, like we state it every week, but I think it happens pretty much every day. It's crazy. It was like every Tuesday or something like that, I feel like all the ratings Are change. They, I think they like tweet it every Friday or something. I'd be so stuck in my player now. Yeah, I don't know man, what else is yeah. going on. I'm, I'll, 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 I'll say lost. my player in my career just, took over this game and basketball. That's right. Like, I, I haven't even tell you the last time I played a play now. Yeah. I only play, I, to be honest, I only play play now when I have to do, like, some press tour. Yeah, you know, like, pointless. that's the only time I ever play. Because now you guys have, like, 2K leagues and stuff. Yeah. Is that all ran by 2K? Well that's, well, that's what I was saying. Like, that whole, like, vision to get from, you know, competitive. Now we have the 2K league, right? But, like, right. that was a long-term vision. First, you had to build my career. Then you had to get, uh, give a face to it with, with scanning, right? Then you had to, like, allow people to find other people to play with. And that was, like, first it was the park, but then it was Cruz, Jordan Rec Center, whatever. And then, then it became about Pro-Am and, like, how do these collect teams go against each other, right? That transition. And then finally it was the 2K League, right? Like, now you can get drafted by NBA teams to go play. That was not a – that's not a one-minute thing. That's, like – a multi-year kind of progression yeah, yeah. and it just speaks to the work that our team does but also like how far we go versus other video games over year over year and how far we still have to go like it's it's just so exciting to be part of you know a basketball video game product because we've done so much and this game has changed the culture but like there's so much more to do because people wait, literally wait for 2K23 to come out. Oh, I know. Some people are still playing 2K22 <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, so they still in the park yesterday yeah. at 2K22. I got to be honest, I don't know how people do that. Even me, right? Like, I need a break. Like, just for a, a month. I'm <laughs> yeah. just like, you know what? Oh, nah. Month of August. No no 2K August. Like, that, that's, that's it. Because, because I start playing 23 and I'm like, I can't, I can't play the old one. It happens every year. It's not... Mm -hmm because 23 is so much better than 22. It happens every year, but you get used to the controls. You're like, oh my God, look at the movement, look at that. Like, you yeah. start seeing the difference and you don't want to play the old one anymore. But I would say that like, you know what I'm saying? My player, my, well, my player, you guys keep it interesting, like the different prizes, you know what I'm saying? Different level up badges. Yeah. Um, By the way, it's dope this year. Really? Last year, like, um, I know some people like didn't love all the rep rewards, but like it's, it was also the first year we'd ever done it. So like, the season model, we didn't even know if people would like it or, at all or like if it was going to work. So we didn't want to invest too heavily. But now that we saw people really dug yeah, yeah, it, people like, liked it yeah. now we're, we're investing in rep rewards and like it, it'll be really dope. Because people, I need my go-kart. Yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> I'd be blown when I didn't get every reward for the for the uh, for whatever nine, season it was. Nine levels. Yeah, or exactly. Nine, nine and then sometimes yeah. I forget to claim them. Do I gotta claim them again this year? Well, I don't know actually. Man, <laughs> I, I forget. I'll go like thirty levels. I'll forget to claim it and I lose everything. Oh, so <laughs> all that grind. That sounds it. like a you problem. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is really a me problem for sure. So what's but, the future um, hold for Two K and, and Ronnie and Two K right now? Uh, I mean, look, like, like I said, I, we just continue to like push the envelope on innovation and all that, like wherever the basketball world takes us, wherever the cultural world take, takes us, wherever hip hop takes us, wherever shoes take, a, take us, we want to go, but we also want to lead, right? Like, right. and so a lot of ways we are leading and you see that with some of our social, ju you know, justice stuff and like, you know, the, the statements we make in the game and all that stuff, like it is, it is an ecosystem now you know and i yeah. think it'll just continue to grow and even continue to align more with, with with real life and what's happening in all aspects of life i think that's that's the future for 2k i see you guys integrated like um wnba players uh you have two on the cover this year right mm -hmm. tarasi and uh sue bird sue bird yep they both retiring this she year just retired no, just sue, 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 sue bird sue bird retired two days ago sick um yeah She's i was legend, there though. for her last oh my god Amazing. Yeah, she's a four-time champion, thirteen-time All-Star. I was there for her last game. We gave Sick. her this like super dope, going away um, thing. Uh, uh, definitely check out that video. It was a really cool piece of art by Victor Solomon. Um, but um, you know, one of the greatest of all time. And th that was like the statement with all these covers, right? Like, Devin is the greatest two K player. He won the ESPN Players Tournament. Like, obvious choice. Um, Obviously, MJ, you're 23, but also uh, this is the greatest 2K of all time. We should have the greatest athlete of all time be on there. And then, you know, Diana Su and Sue, what a year to partner with them. Um, I was so excited about this, you know, um, stock of cover athletes. And like me and Devin, I'm actually releasing a, a video tomorrow. Me and Devin have been together 47 times since since March. Jesus, wow. bro. Like, he has been very involved and we just have been a traveling circus, you know, like building this game, mocap, cover shoots, um, you know, so so many more things. We were at Sue's thing together, you know, like, so um, yeah, it's been very cool. What's the process like when you guys decide who's on the cover? Yeah, uh, I'd say there's three big things. It's uh, trajectory, like, do we believe that this guy is going to elevate, even if he hasn't won a championship yet, like, He's definitely one of, it was just a few handful of guys, right? Like you can name who the obvious candidates are. Anybody can every year, but trajectory, matching our marketing, whatever we're trying to tell that year's storyline. So again, for Devin, it was like, you're the greatest 2K player of all time. We can make this work. Best gameplay, like you should be the cover athlete. Um, and then the third thing, well, I forgot the third thing last night too. It's not even a scripted line. I actually came up with these, and now I can't even remember. That's, that's <laughs> kind of weak. Um, you know, it's, it, but really, I think Devin was kind of a, a slam dunk with everything that he has going on in the world, and um, just the, our emphasis on, you know, fashion and all the things that he's interested in. It was an obvious choice. Who's who's your top five players of all time? What's your list looking like? Wow. Um, MJ, LeBron. Definitely MJ over LeBron, but one two, right? Mm. Uh, Kareem. Um, where would I go next? You have to say KD, just you know what I'm saying, just as your friend. Just don't have to say KD at this point. Or you, uh, no, he's on the raw list. I want the raw list. He's, 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 he's not. He's not in the top five. He's, he's been a lot of players. Been, I hate to say he's got to win a championship without Steph. He's got I get to, it. He's got to do that. I get before, it. He has to for his legacy. He has to do that. Um, and he, I, he will, but uh, let's see, who else? Why am I, like, blanking? They just asked. Probably, probably not yeah, Kobe sure Bryant. No, you don't think so? I think he's eight, actually. Oh, okay. I have my, like, top ten list. I've, That's I've crazy. About uh, all Stephen A. Smith just announced his. And he played with Magic, Bill Russell, Kareem, yeah, LeBron, and MJ. Up. See, the thing, I have problems adding, yeah, like, adding. Kareem's and Bill Russell. Not because no, I don't Kareem. respect them. It's just the fact that i never seen them play basketball. Or the game of basketball Kareem, was so Kareem different, different though. Like, he dominated, He for dominated. Sure. And, I mean, yeah, I guess you could say the same thing about Wilt, too. But, like, that's, that's probably, like, a little too. He was the, yeah, literally right? the, right. only, the tallest basketball player on the court. 
What was? By far. By, yeah, far. by far. Every game. But that, that's game. Uh, you still can't take away the talent. Like, scoring 60 in a game consistently is, like, still doing that. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. For me, it's like I, I, I need to see them play and watch these dudes play multiple games a year. Like, to, well, I think, but that's, I think that's the great thing about 2K, right? Like, you can, yeah, you can see Yeah, it. I can go in there and, go and get figure a taste. Out. Yeah. And, we, you know, we had those modes this year, too, where you can go back and play in those eras with different rule sets and presentation. Oh, like, that's dope. Really, it's, it's really cool. Like... I, I've been spending a lot of time playing my NBA with uh, in the Magic Bird era, and like there's more fouls or there's less fouls. Like it's, right. it's really rad, actually. More twos. Yeah, more twos, definitely. More <laughs> mid range, all that stuff. That's crazy. Sure. What goes into like uh, like two K? Like how busy is two K week? Like the week coming up to launch. Oh, like what nice, do you bro. what like, goes how into do you guys your day to day? I've slept six hours in four days. Really. I believe wow. it, man. I see him pull up on every uh, everybody. They have their cover at 2K. <laughs> I was waiting in my driveway for my I job. Mean, I mean, like, uh, again, it's a great thing because there's such a demand on, like, you know, what we're doing and, and the message we're trying to tell. So, uh, you know, again, like, wouldn't trade it for anything, for sure. When are we getting cool kicks in, in the 2K? Mm. When are you getting what? When are we going to put uh, cool kicks <laughs> inside uh, the game? <laughs> I talked to Alf yesterday. We got a meeting Tuesday. <laughs> you got to talk to the NBA about that one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a long process. Yeah. Do you, how's how's hip-hop in um, 2K correlating right now? How's what? Hip-hop in 2K. Because um, I just saw, like, recently you had a, you just dropped something off of Travis Scott. Yeah. You, had J, you said J. Cole's coming on the, on the cover. Yeah. So how is that like? How are you correlating that for the culture? As oh, far I, as just... I mean, I I think it's pretty obvious. Like we put on so many uh, musicians into that soundtrack, and it's like you know meant so much to them and the, you know their experience. And then uh, everybody wants to do it. Like everybody wants to be on our soundtrack, and that tells you like they see it as a a way to brand build, right? Like all, right. all of a sudden you got millions of kids that yeah they're playing 2K, but they're also listening to your tracks. I think that whole thing, but like again, it was, an, it was something that happened over years, and like we had to build to get here. You don't put J Cole on the cover, you know, the first time you ever do something. It's not that easy, right? Uh, we had to earn our position there, and to get him excited to you know do that, and um, it was pretty amazing. Was it because he played basketball? Or I mean, that was definitely a part of it. Again, I, major, I talked about like the, the storylines of what's going on. He played EuroLeague basketball, right? So, like, yeah, that was definitely helpful. What's so, um? I don't know why I'm getting blown up by the same number over and over again. I wanted to know what uh, what's Ronnie Two K's go to build this year, Two K Twenty Three. Well, oh. I'll tell you, it's not uh, it's not like that dominant. Like, what I mean by that is like all the builds are very, very close to each other this year. Like, it was very obvious like last year that the the guard builds were like a little bit um, yes. more favorited. Uh -huh. I don't think that's the case this year. I think we definitely have skewed towards a good balance, definitely uh, t towards more post players. People are in love with the builder. I don't know if you've seen all the enthusiasm around that. Like people yeah. are so stoked on that. I haven't seen it. Um, I haven't seen yeah, it. Like, we did a, a community day actually in LA this past Friday. Had a hundred content creators from all over the world come and play. And the one thing we allowed them to do more than anything was like just sit here and try to build us a build that is so dominant and they couldn't they couldn't do it that's good though that, yeah, that means it's good. more balanced there'll be there'll be a lot of it's totally like something that uh has got everybody excited do you still like um i know you said a while ago you used to like watch streams and all that kind of stuff do you still like oh yeah yeah 100 percent. do you, do you stream too stuff yeah mm -hmm. i do stream i okay. i haven't been lately i've been rebuilding my uh, production studio i've been a little bit busy, busy with this whole Get, about to get married thing Good been a little busy with this whole getting 2k23 out thing yeah. but i'll be back on stream i'm actually i've streamed on monday i'm uh we streamed from the party last night i'm streaming tomorrow here in burbank before i fly back but then pretty much every week outside of me disappearing for my honeymoon for a few weeks uh where is that by the way i'll be i can't, I can't tell you <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if that's a secret or not i'm not my, married uh, yet so my fiance might murder me in the middle of this okay. <laughs> We'll keep that private then. All right. Um, outside of 2K, like, what, what, what does your life consist of? Any, any other side projects you work on? Or is it, what, oh, what, yeah. What, what else I mean, is a like, passion for you? Uh, there's a lot of, like, just general business. I, I think I want to be somebody that gives back to the next generation. So any business that does that is interesting to me. A lot of the philanthropic stuff 
like with make a wish that I do is very important to me. Um, any way that I can also like help aspiring streamers uh, or inspiring content uh, content creators, I'm all about. Like I get reached out all the time, and be like, hey, can I? Would you mind being in my content? I love that. Like it's it's cool. Like I'm happy to help. Um, you know, build the next ones. Um, so yeah, I, that's always a big thing for me. I, and I, you know, like I have investments in real estate and, and uh, you know, um, some industries that I'm really excited about. So like, yeah, the usual. Wow. That's yeah, off topic, I know you're brown, I'm brown. How was <laughs> it telling your family when you first started with like 2K, like a gaming thing? Like, cause that's when, a I, great when I did question. sneakers, it was so hard. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and totally I know you're brown. Good. How was it? Because they obviously want you to go medical. My first job, what, well, they wanted me to be a doctor engineer. Of course. Or whatever. Same thing. I think yeah, I did. You were supposed to be a dentist. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to be a dentist. Oh, that would have, you would have been a failure then. <laughs> I would have, I would have hated my life. But uh, no, I was, was gonna so be, I was going to be a failure and be a lawyer. But then I dropped the bombshell of I'm going to go work for a women's professional basketball team. Okay. Mm. How did you think? How did you think that went? <laughs> Bad. That was they, not, they, they, not, I'm going to drop out of fans? a top five law school and and go work for a minor league. Uh, women's basketball team. Those girls are uh, talented, though. No, yeah, they Those were good. Talented, no, like, Becky though. Hammond was on my team. Really? Isn't that crazy? Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's brown crazy. parents don't know yeah. who that is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Um, but, like, yeah, even when I first joined at 2K, I mean, even now my parents are, like, uh, confused a lot of times, but they get it. Like, they see it. Like, I'll, I'll be out at dinner with them, and people want to come take pictures and stuff, and they get super proud and it's 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 cute but like um yeah that was not easy at, at the beginning so i but I, I think everybody should just follow their their passion and i also i always say like in your 20s you really can't do wrong as long as you did you know stay out of jail <laughs> like yeah. you, you know you you really um can't mess up too bad like just take risks like do what you gotta do experiment right and probably last question like for me up. would be I know you're a sneakerhead. Yeah. What's your favorite sneaker of all time? Oh uh, wow. Well, um, what's your go-to? Like, what do you what do you usually rock? You wake up. What are you wearing? Like a Forces? Are you a Jordan fan? A Jordan One? Like. Whoa. I mean, yeah, most of mine are Jordan Ones. Uh, I was really in the off-white thing for a minute. Uh, uh, Peter Virgil. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. I mean, you know the shoes I always look at. Yeah, so he it's likes like, a lot of like. I, I have a really cult. eclectic taste. Like I like really weird stuff. I remember like last year he came and asked for some the Yeezy 750s. Like I haven't had Damn. anybody ask for Yeezy 750s yeah. in so long. Yeah, that was, that was just come like in. a random one I I, I wanted. Um, but like it's just like I I, I love the just strange pair SB. Um, the, the Ben and Jerry's. I don't know yeah. why. Just, I like like them. collab stuff. He likes yeah, like unions. Like, uh, did you have, did you get your well, hands I'm really on unions? I'm really close friends with Chris. Okay. Chris Gibbs, who uh, obviously is the lead designer of Union. So mm -hmm. I, I love showing support. He actually got so um, happy when I got engaged in my proposal. He's like, oh my God, everybody's telling me that uh, you were wearing my shoes and you didn't crease them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. That's you got to take care of you. Yeah. That's fine. Will we see Sophie in the game this year? I know uh, we saw her last God, year. God, I hope so. Yeah. No, there's a scene of, well, I can't actually uh -oh, talk about spoiler. it. Ah, I guess spoiler. Spoiler. Yeah, why not? It's 2K Day. I talk about it a little bit. There's a scene. It's not actually that far. And it's actually a very important scene in the game uh, about, like, uh, some wedding stuff. It's pretty funny. No. Like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just leave it as that. There you go. So, like, it, we're trying to, like, follow all, along with all of our lives. Like, that's what makes 2K great. So yeah. my year this year is about getting married. So there's a, a scene about about that, which will be really funny. That's dope. That's like dope. That. Are you doing a traditional brown type of wedding? Oh, yeah. <laughs> are you traditional are? brown. Uh, what's a traditional know, brown type of wedding? Uh, like three days, five uh, days? Really? Minus, minus eight days. Eight hey, what's days? the name of the dish? Seven events in eight days. John Poppery? John Poppery going to be there. <laughs> is it going to be there? <laughs> I'm yeah, pulling up. I, I take the them food. to a uh, Daisy Food restaurants oh, all the time. Poppery oh, shots, yeah, samosas. That stuff is fire, for sure. If it's there, I'm there. Yeah. For Very sure. Good. I'm 100% there if you're there. I got a question, though. So, what was what NBA player that you met since, like, having 2K that you were just like, wow, like, I'm really getting to meet you? Like, Oh, 
Well, I mean, MJ, obviously, that was... Wow, you met MJ? Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Oh, no, you want to hear a wild story about MJ? This is probably the third time I met him, because we had done commercial shoots. I, like, we don't, like, we don't interact. Right, we right. hadn't up until this point, and we actually haven't since, because probably COVID or when, whatever, but when I played at my first celebrity game in Charlotte, is that right? Yeah, I think so. Um, we went, uh, the Jordan party was that night, so I went over there, and I've been good friends with Marcus and Jeffrey, his sons, for a mm-hmm. long time. And so my buddy Lonnie, who's over there, uh, was with me th- this night. And I'm still so mad at him because we went to, uh, you're listening to me, Lonnie? You remember this? I think I, I think I know where you're going. So uh, Marcus and Jeffrey are like, hey, uh, our dad wants to talk to you about your, um, your performance in the celebrity game. And I'm like, your dad, Michael Jordan, wants to talk to me about, the celebrity game. about me playing basketball? Yeah, okay. So I went over there and like shook his hand. And I'm just, I don't, I can't remember a damn word he said because I think I blacked out. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, and Lonnie was like right behind me, probably doing the same thing. And I, I walked away and I'm like, Lonnie, please tell me you like snapped a flick or something. <laughs> okay, so nah, had nothing. to. Nothing. Got nothing. He's probably an all got too. Got nothing. <laughs> How are you feeling? At least you got the memory. You yeah. were probably both just like, I mean, it's like see, seeing, seeing. I mean, not a god, but like, you know, the, an idol for sure. For sure. And to be honest, by the way, last night was kind of that to me too. I have this uh, mural in my house uh, who they both seen it. Like it's a felt mural and there's like six or seven prominent figures on there that I feel like have shaped my career or my life in a lot of ways. And one of them is Lil Wayne. Cool. And wow. so Lil Wayne obviously performed last night and uh, we got to spend uh some time together which was and and we talked like we had a really private conversation that i I won't share but like it was like oh my god you know he's confided me in and talking about that stuff and i'm like this is Lil wayne that's that's well that's crazy um so yeah i mean but i don't ever like really i think at the end of the day we're all like trying to do a job and um you know it's just a it's just business, right? So, like, I don't ever get really nervous or anything like that. Well, I would definitely got nervous with MJ, 1,000%. I mean, yeah, I think that yeah, was the, that I was that's like, the only, I had to have been the one that's nervous. The only to, that's the only time I got a little bit, like, whoa. 100% MJ. If, if I had to meet, like, MJ, Kobe, and Brian, I'd probably be like, I wouldn't even know what to say because I'd yeah. be like. Yeah, yeah. I met Kobe over here by, like, uh, Fox Hills Mall. I was, like, a little kid. I was, like, I forgot how old I was, but he was releasing those pro tros. And um, I was like a little kid. It was only like 10 pairs there, but I just like snuck my way to the front. And then I had to go run back outside to tell my mom, like, yo, like, mom, I'm right here with Kobe Bryant. Like, yeah, and well. she saw me and then uh, I met him, but people were jumping on cars trying to see him. Like, it, it was crazy. But yeah. that was the first time I ever met Kobe. That was pretty crazy, I'm gonna be honest. How do you think, how do Thank you think? Thank you um, so much. Ooh. Somebody wallet? Went, uh, wallet. Uh, oh, somebody went wallet. shopping. Yeah, you got the young camera. Uh, Thank you so uh, much. Uh, 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 promo uh, codes. What? Oh, now you're good. <laughs> Amber's running. No. You're, you're fine. Oh, West Side Forever. You're good. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, <I'm done. laughs> On that note, we're going to probably end the pod. That guy's getting a fat tip. That's amazing. W. For sure. Ronnie, I really appreciate you pulling up. Oh, of course. Wish you nothing but the you. best. Appreciate Always. killing oh, shit. Of course. Thank you. We're excited, good man. Good luck with your wife. 2K I'm coming out. Everything. Good luck with everything. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations pl- on everything. It's a pleasure, guys. My, my game's sure. installing right now as we speak. Yeah, mine too. Mine's already no, done. No, so you don't even need one. Why are you asking? No, I'm just kidding. Why are you trying to? <laughs> <laughs> He's a brother, it sister, is a job cousin. Till, there's a job till tomorrow, technically. I was just joking. I haven't got it yet. That's true. All right. Well, I, I, I know you. a guy. No problem. <laughs> you know a guy. Hey, man, me too. Hey, man, appreciate my boy Ronnie yeah. pulling up. Okay. Pulling up. Appreciate Thank y'all for kicking it with the cool. Thank you. Shout out QC. Shout out Vocal. Shout out everybody. Peace.